Good day, McVeigh, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get right to our project today. Check this one out. So this is by Michael and Zainab in room 223. Wow, look at the work that went into this. So we have fun facts on poisonous dart frogs, cheetahs, shortfin mako sharks, and scorpions. So, for example, did you know that scorpions have different colors depending on the environment they live in? And of course, that's a an adaptation that third graders will be learning about soon, adaptations that um, animals have based upon the environment that they live in. Or that a mako shark can swim faster than humans can run, or that a cheetah can run 60 miles per hour. These are some fun facts that Michael and Zaina uh, included for us, but I absolutely loved how much effort went into the illustrations. Super duper job. And the other one that we're doing today is the Evergreen Tail by Molly Ha. So Molly Ha from room 227, I think you used to actually say Molly Ha. Uh, <clears throat> she wrote a story about a thrush, which is like a small bird, or a, uh, but usually a songbird, um, from the Ossine family. But uh, anyhow, so, and it's about a bird that goes up several different trees um, because the bird can't fly and is looking for help. And the evergreen tree happens to be the, the tree that helps the bird. But what's so awesome about this story is, firstly, how much attention to detail there is. She attended to precision. She made this very precise. Her handwriting is very neat. She used quotation marks, proper punctuation, proper capitalization. This is really done well. And I'm very proud of you. Nice work. Okay. Now, let's go on to our... Wordle. As we know, the clue is always McVeigh. So, we learned that these two letters are uh, the most common vowel in our language. So, that has to be an E. All right. Now, We also learned that this was a vowel consonant vowel. This word also starts with a vowel. These two vowels are different and they are the least used vowels in our language. Different though. So the least and the second least used. So. When we think about the words that we have each week and we know that they're connected, listen carefully. This one is smaller than this one in what it means, in their meaning. Now, it sounds pretty complicated, but it'll get easier tomorrow. All right, mystery number. So we said that this number is odd, which means this digit is odd. And both are homonyms. Okay. Clue. Beside the number, this digit has two homonyms or two homophones. All right. Now it's time for our mighty con moment of the day. All right. Today's mighty kind moment of the day is a shout out to Samantha in room 206. Samantha Pope Liner, uh, for doing something super duper mighty kind. And so, Samantha, you know what that is. But for all of our friends out there, Samantha had a difficult decision to make. And she decided to take the route of kindness. And that's what a mighty mind does. And so we can all that do that. Why? Because we're mighty Minds, not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.